advice for experienced otaku. I have some notes and thoughts here uh, because I've been doing some thinking recently about what happens. Yeah, our audience here, you guys, all of us, we didn't start watching anime last week, right? We've been around for a while. We, we know what we're doing. And the thing is, we know one of the, two of the big dangers are burnout or fade away. Mm. Right? Uh, folks who just, you know, they're like, I, I, I can't watch anime, anime anymore. Or folks who are like, it's cool, but I just, it doesn't fit into my life anymore. Like, I just don't have time, whatever. Um, and we've experienced this. I've experienced it. I've had moments of burnout. I've had moments of kind of fade out. And I wanted to provide three pieces of advice for how to avoid this. I should say, it's okay to have periods where you do and don't things, don't do things. Um, none of this is, you know, saving lives. <laughs> so you can take breaks and all that, and that's fine. But if you do want to keep it up, three pieces of advice. The first piece of advice is to watch highly respected anime to challenge you. Seek out anime that is highly respected, you know, well-reviewed, often recommended, that kind of stuff, and that you know will stretch you in some way. Those classics, I often hear people say, oh yeah, that really revitalized my interest in this. Oh, that really, you know, I was thinking about that for weeks, and it made me think about this, maybe think about that. Um, that seeking out of those great works, if you will, uh, could be a really solid pillar of the hobby. Now, the extra piece of advice in here is to particularly look for works in genres you enjoy. Meaning, if you're not into Magical Girl, you don't have to go and find, you know, the greatest Magical Girl anime ever. That's fine. Um... You know, if you're not into, if, uh, if you're into anime for action, seek out Akira before you seek out Grave of the Fireflies, right? Mm. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Akira and, and, and Grave of the Fireflies, two, two, two different, different shows. A L- little bit, a little yeah, different. Just, just a slight edge. Slight edge. Um, and we talked about this before, how anime is a medium there are many different genres and we generally are into a few genres within that so it's fine when when seeking those well-respected anime to focus on those genres because you're trying to keep your interest you're trying to find the things that you'll go oh i want to go back and rewatch it every year right um you know keep that stuff fresh the second piece of advice kind of contrasts with the first one and that is to watch random anime Go outside your comfort zone. Just watch stuff. Even things you wouldn't necessarily want to watch. And the thing about that is treat it like channel surfing. You're bouncing from channel to channel and you're just looking for something that catches your eye. It doesn't have to be the greatest thing in the world. It might be something completely different, but it's just something unusual. John and I will do this sometimes. We did it uh, last week where we just... Yeah, you just spun the wheel and just yep. like, where is the, where's the scroll down stop? Let's watch that. <laughs> like, okay. And you never know what you'll find. Yeah. Um, so I think that's very useful. And the, my advice on here is aim to do that maybe once a quarter. Like, I think that that's a, a good sort of general advice. A couple times a year, just watch something completely random to see if you like it. It, it keeps things fresh. Um, can I, I really saying, wish. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was gonna say I really wish there are sites out there that have a literally surprise me or random mm. button. Mm-hmm. I really wish the Crunchyroll would adopt something like that. Yeah. Where you could just go through the catalog, hit the button, and then do exactly that. Be like, mm-hmm. I've watched the heck out of X, Y, and Z. Now hit the button. Let's watch A, B, and C and see mm-hmm. what we got. Exactly. Totally. And, and Ken Mono is, as Ken Mono is saying, you know, if, you, if your niche is Magical Girls, it's a good example of where you can very quickly kind of run out of different Magical Girls series. You may, you know, <laughs> Pretty Cure is a deep well, 
But uh, if you're trying different Magical Girls series, you can kind of go, oh, I've seen most of what I want to see. Time to try something completely different. The third piece of advice I would have after watching highly respected anime and watching random anime is to watch anime regularly. Um, this is something I've been doing more recently and it's been helping me a lot. Find a time, could be daily, could be weekly, where you, you, you say, this is going to be my anime watching hour and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch whatever it is. And be willing to be a little hard on yourself here or be a little diligent I will say better okay. to say I may not want to watch anime during that period but I'm going to sit down and watch something anyway right I'm going to I'm going to expose myself to something do something random I find having that consistent time keeps me open to the hobby it, it, it prevents it from just kind of slipping away and again being one of those things where it's like Oh gosh, it's been three weeks and I haven't watched anything. Having that regular time to check in and, and watch stuff. Even if you're going back and watching something that you watched 20 years ago and you loved, um, it kind of keeps the hobby going. So, I, I, I can fully attest to that because during my hiatus, I really backed off of anime for, mm -hmm. pretty heavily. Hit the brakes pretty hard. Sure. Dealing with other stuff. But I did daily see at least one episode of something mm -hmm. so it wasn't i didn't sit down for two hours on the weekends i would keep it basically about a day i would watch an episode mm -hmm. yeah. and then i would stop that and go and be in a different headspace mm -hmm. but i kept it going and i kept my toe in the water enough yeah. to come back and not just walk off into the sunset so mm -hmm. you know that's that's really yeah I can I can appreciate that that's good advice and think about that too let's say you're watching one episode a day even just weekdays that's a 13 episode anime in a week in two and a half weeks yeah, right it like, still adds up <laughs> mm -hmm, absolutely so definitely there uh, Kenemono suggests that's, that, that here's a great fourth suggestion is to branch out into manga Spend some Ooh, time yeah. reading manga. Uh, one nice thing about manga, too, is that you have a, an even larger <laughs> ocean to explore there. You can come across really weird or just really um, a lot of things. You know, speaking of Magical Girl, there's going to be way more Magical Girl manga than anime. Yeah. So you can scratch that itch more easily. That's a great piece of advice. Well, in manga, too, if you, <laughs> if you fall asleep in the middle of an anime... You have to backtrack to it. I have fallen asleep reading manga, and where my fingers are stuck into the manga, when I wake mm -hmm. back up, I just go back to it and then take a nap again, sometimes usually <laughs> like three or four pages later. It is, it's kind of a nice break from being so visually inundated with, with you know visual and, and auditory, mm -hmm. where you just have something you can look at, and you stop where you stop, and it doesn't continue without you. Yeah. You know, so that's kind of a nice focusing moment especially because manga is consumed at the reader's rate right so even if you're reading it and you're not maybe maybe you're a little tired that's okay you can read more slowly and you'll still absorb the material and uh you know it's not like that we've all been in that situation where we're watching something we 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 wake up and we're like how many episodes did I actually watch? Like, you know, how many episodes were I was I even conscious for? And I don't remember yeah. any of them. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm.